The controversial case of Army soldier Bo Bergdahl charged with desertion and misbehavior before the enemy is, it, appear, uh, it appears, now coming to a close. Laura Engel has the latest on the verdict in his court-martial from our New York newsroom. Laura? Hi, John. Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl will spend no time in prison. The judge on the case deciding to give him a dishonorable discharge and a demotion, and also his pay will be reduced, but again, no prison time for desertion. Now, this comes after 31-year-old Bo Bergdahl pleaded guilty last month to endangering his comrades by walking off his post in Afghanistan in 2009. This has been a case we have all been following very closely. He was then captured by Taliban allies and held for five years. Uh, prosecutors on the court martial were asking for at least 14 years in prison, pointing out to the judge that Bergdahl's fellow soldiers were seriously wounded during searches for the then private first class. One Navy SEAL testified he was shot in the leg and now walks with a limp. He said they searched for Bergdahl, even though some of them knew he walked away on purpose. The sentencing phase of Bergdahl's military tribunal lasted eight days. Bergdahl could have gotten life for desertion and misbehaving before the end. Enemy. The judge on the case started deliberating Bergdahl's fate yesterday after his lawyers pushed for leniency during their closing arguments. They asked for no prison time and they got their wish, arguing he has previously undiagnosed mental illness when he walked off base that day. A doctor who testified this week says those illnesses include a personality disorder and PTSD. Once again, Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl will spend no time in prison for desertion in Afghanistan in 2009. John. And, and once again, Laura, he's getting a dishonorable discharge. Is that that's, correct? That's correct. That's what we're getting from the court.